Britt Adam Gravely, 38, met his Australian wife Caitlin, 39, when he went travel. He managed to secure a good job and they sponsored him to stay and after tying the knot but now the couple, who live in Perth, have both heartbreakingly been diagnosed with stage 4 cancer, just 3 months apart. They are faced with the devastating prospect of leaving kids Thea, 2, and 4 month old Fern without a mum and dad. Caitlin was diagnosed with stage 4 bowel cancer in November after suffering pain she thought was due to her pregnancy. And then tragically Adam was diagnosed with stage 4 pancreatic cancer on February 4. Adam's British sister, Emma Reynolds, 41 says her and the rest of the family can't visit them until the family want to raise awareness of aggressive cancers that start in the under 40. Emma, from Abbey Mead, Gloucestershire, said, I don't think you'll ever be able to understand why you're process both of them. You just have to live with it. Sometimes I talk about it and am detaching myself from it as I do. We're hoping and praying every day that the treatment they're getting works, and that they've got years rather than months. The hope is to raise awareness because they're so young, and how suddenly your life can be sent into absolute turmoil. A fundraiser has been set up to support the family whilst they go through their treatment. Graphic designer Adam was born in Solihull, but grew up in Farnham, Surrey. He went traveling in March 2007, with a view to return home eventually, until he met Caitlin in 2009 through a landscape architect. Caitlin grew up in Western Australia and they got married on December 7, 2014 at Perth Town Hall. Caitlin went to hospital for a colonoscopy last November and diagnosed with bowel cancer, which has now sp She gave birth to her second child, Fern, on October 14, 2020, but had continuous abdominal pain that turned out to be a tumor on sister-in-law Emma said. It was absolutely devastating. The tumor in her colon was quite large so they reckon she'd had it for over a year and a half, but because she was pregnant it could She did say, looking back, she did have abdominal cramps but she thought it was to do with pregnant. Emma says Adam was diagnosed with stage 4 pancreatic cancer on February 4th after getting pains in his side. Hospitality worker Emma said, his wife was diagnosed in November so had been quite stressed but he had no other. We thought it was just going to be a stomach ulcer or his appendix. Early scans showed he had two large masses on his pancreas and liver, the result of pancreatic cancer that had developed for a The location of the tumor meant Adam had no symptoms until it spread to his liver. Emma said, his liver is covered in lesions. It's the worst cancer you can get which is pancreatic cancer, it was just off. He started an experimental chemotherapy drug trial two days later that is extremely aggressive. His first week he was very poorly but this is his second week now and is completely wiped out. Emma, he can't even concentrate, it's hard to engage with anyone, it's just like you're so vacant, you're just Caitlin's tumor was removed and she now has chemotherapy to kill the inoperable cancer on her liver, which all started within the first four weeks after fur. The newborn had to be rushed to be bottle fed, as Caitlin couldn't continue breastfeeding, and for a time she wouldn't. The couple traveled together for their weekly chemotherapy sessions, and rely on the help of their friends and relatives to maintain their family life. A fundraiser has been set up to support the family while Adam and E. Caitlin they go through their treatment. Emma said, they've had enormous generosity, people do food parcels, cook things, they've had people pay for cleaner to come in, people offering to help with the kid. Helen, who is the grandma, she will be there in the day and looks after Fern when Caitlin has a scan, but they do try and have Fern over a lot to alleviate pressure. It is conflicting for Caitlin she gets very upset because her maternal instincts, but it's weighing up what's best for their. The couple are urging people to attend screenings. The hope is to raise awareness because they're so young, and how suddenly your life can be sent into absolute turmoil. They were very into fitness and health, they eat organic, but it's hit them both. As far as we were aware and they were aware there were no health concerns. To donate, click here.